This last verse, the Apostle Paul talks about, kind of wraps all this stuff together. Colossians 1.29. I labor, he says, struggling with all of his energy, talking about God, talking about the Holy Spirit, which so powerfully works in me. So we see sweat and surrender blended together right here. Paul says, I labor, but it's with his energy which so powerfully works in me. So here's, here's what it looks like. It's like when you're working out, you're doing your bench press, and you're in there, you're repping along, doing great. And all of a sudden, you start to hit that point. You hit the wall. He got me up. And, and now it's like, help. And so you, somebody steps over, and then their spotter begins to help you. And now you see this verse in action right here. All right, who's working? Who's laboring? Me. I'm laboring. And whose power is helping me? Who, who, else, who else is giving power in the situation? That spotter. So it's not that I just sit back and say, Holy Spirit, would you lift the weight for me today? I'm going to do a Holy Spirit workout and won't you do it? <laughs> no, that's not what it looks like. It also doesn't just look like, Holy Spirit, thanks for getting me up this morning. I'll talk to you in a minute. I can work out. Let me do my thing on my own. But in life looks like this. That yes, we're laboring. We step in. We, we obey in the situation. And the Holy Spirit gives us power in that moment and continues to lead. So we have to surrender. We can say, no, thanks. I'm going to need the spot. I got it. I got it. I, I, get away. I got it. I got it. I got it. All right, sometimes we try to live like that instead of surrendering to the power that's offered. So that's the blend of this verse. We labor in His power, surrendering to Him. 